For when the elements get tough, it's not the best idea to try and brutalise the golf ball using all your body energy and, and just absolutely power through, because after a few holes, even if you achieve that, you'll lose the rhythm of the golf swing and you'll lose the contact with the golf ball and it won't be very solid at all. So what to do? Well, make a point of relying on rhythm throughout the round. Try and keep it going the same way through all 18 holes. Don't be thinking of the fine points of technique here. As much as anything, you're going to work on two things. Where's the arm swinging? Where's the body turning? And then harmonising the two together. Now, in your practice swing, that should be your focal point. The great coach John Jacobs said the golf swing is two turns and a swish. How right can that be? Perfect. A description for you on any day, but particularly on a wet and windy one. Turn and swish. Come up to the golf ball. Keep that in mind. And you can keep that rhythm for 18 holes. And at the end of the day, you've played the best golf you're capable of rather than trying to muscle the golf ball.